As the 2012 ASCP annual meeting winds down, we focused on advancing scientific knowledge during Friday's activities. Dr. Donald Berwick, former administrator of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, explained his vision for the future of healthcare. And outgoing ASCP President Dr. Bruce Alexander discussed ASCP's collaborative partnerships. ASCP members expanded their knowledge by attending lectures presented by Dr. Robert McKenna, Dr. Robert Folberg, and Ms. Cynthia Johns. And 15-year-old scientific whiz kid Jack Andreka wowed the audience with how he developed a breakthrough method for detecting pancreatic cancer. I just really want to become a pathologist when I grow up. Several ASCP career ambassadors sponsored by Roche shared their passion for science with 100 local high school students. Television personalities Juliana and Bill Rancic shared their personal experience in dealing with Juliana's breast cancer diagnosis as they advocate for high quality health care. Through ASCP's array of educational resources, our members are expanding their knowledge and skills to stay at the forefront of their profession and to deliver better outcomes. ASCP is so important, so full of potential for helping lead us to the healthcare system we want to need. Your, your organization has in it people who are right at the sharp end. They're actually at the care, at the point of care. They're dealing with very important technologies. ASCP has been a major foundation of the educational activities that I've been involved in for the 30 years that I've practiced pathology. We're clearly in a time of escalating change. Uh, with health system reform is, is first and foremost. I mean, we're seeing all these new technologies coming to the forefront, but how do we incorporate those into clinical care? And so what we're hoping is that this will give them an opportunity to actually learn more about the testing that they may be doing, the more leading edge technology that may be offered in the future, as well as an opportunity, again, to build leadership characteristic and, and skill sets. And we have a whole integration of education, networking opportunities for the entire laboratory team. We're also very pleased to announce for the first time today that we have a memorandum of understanding with the Society for Humanopathology, an important organization that helps this profession understand the new and latest advances as it relates to hematologic disease. It's, you know, it's critically important to the function of the hospital because without pathology informatics, lab data remains trapped in the laboratory. So it's fascinating to think that the lab tests that we produce data on actually impacts turnaround time in the emergency room. You know, reaching out to the other uh, clinicians and, and letting them know that we're consultants for them, we're available whenever they need us, and we have answers that they really do need, and we have an experience that uh, can really help them take better care of their patients. ASCP can emerge very strongly as a leader of of the kind of real healthcare reform that will make us better off as a country. ASCP are helping the field move in the right direction. The learning continues inside ASCP's Science Connection Central, where you can expand your knowledge and skills in a hands-on interactive environment. ASCP member Jesse McCoy served as a 2011-2012 career ambassador. Every day is rewarding um, to be able to give information to patients on their future, their life, their prognosis and their diagnosis, it's huge. Our visiting students from Edward M. Kennedy High School in Boston got an opportunity to talk with Jack Andreka, a high school scientific whiz kid from the Baltimore area, about his amazing scientific discovery for a new early detection method for pancreatic cancer. That's what's so cool about my sensor. It can detect the cancer before it's invasive, where someone has close to 100% chance of survival. That's an increase of 98% from late diagnosis. We saw this 15-year-old kid who happens to be the Intel International Science Fair winner, and this little kid has figured out a protein and how you can diagnose early pancreatic cancer, an insight to cancer that typically, by the time it's diagnosed, most patients do not survive. This kid did this and completely had an eruption with all of our members in order to have an opportunity to show why STEM education in this country is so essential. Instilling a love of scientific learning in the next generation of laboratory scientists is vital if we are to address the workforce shortage. An extraordinary group of distinguished speakers have shared their personal and professional revelations that have reinforced their commitment to improving healthcare at home and abroad. We hope the 2012 ASCP Annual Meeting has provided valuable insights as we continue to work toward advancing medical science. What a monumental success. This week, from the beginning to the end, 
has been an epiphany for this organization. We have seen incredible keynote speakers underscored by 165 educational sessions. It was absolutely a monumental week. We'll see you at the 2013 ASCP Annual Meeting, September 18th to the 21st, 2013, in Chicago.